So this week we are getting a panel and announcements for Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I am very excited. Now today I want to share my thoughts and opinions on what I think is going to happen. So first off, we're going to be talking about the films that have been confirmed, which are Black Widow, Shang-Chi, The Eternals, Black Panther 2, Doctor Strange, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and the Mysterious Project Line. Now, now what I'm talking about Project Line, because I heard from an article talk, talking about Phase 4, is that, that there was, was like a movie with no title, just the line. Which is making me speculate that this is the Fantastic Four. And X-Men is not coming to the MCU for at least a couple more years. Even though Dark Phoenix was a bomb, that's why it's, that's happening. So yeah. So now I'm going to be talking about what I think the release dates for these films are going to gonna happen. So Black Widow 2, like I said, could might release in May... Hey, it could be the May release film, and I do think, do think it is going to be the first Phase 4 film, and, and I know people, people are going to, I don't know, nah, whatever, I was just, I was going to make a joke, like, with people disagreeing with me, but I decided to stop that. So first, so it has been confirmed at this point that Black Widow is gonna be the first phase four film and and I have read the Disney article of upcoming Disney movies and there only was two MCU films but I do think there could be a possibility that that could change and now now I do think that we're possibly gonna get the Eternals and and Shang-Chi in 2020 I mean the Eternals Eternals do seem Seem pretty obvious to come out because as if they're just getting cast and stuff like that. And Shang-Chi, I don't know how about that film, but I do know that uh, they have started casting. I don't know if they started on the script yet, but that's just my opinion. And in 2021, I think we could get Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and in 2022, maybe we could get... It's maybe Guardians 3, or maybe Guardians 3 is coming out in 2022. Share your so share your opinions in the comments below. So, so first off, uh, I want to talk about the films that I think are going to happen. So, first off, I think they're going to announce Spider-Man 3. I do think that's going to happen. Now, I don't think they're going to announce the plot, but I have heard from comic book cast that they were talking about... Rumors that Daredevil could be appearing in Spider-Man 3, which I do think that could might happen, since if Daredevil is getting the big screen treatment after, like, 20 years or something. Well, well, 20 minus years or something. But you see... But you see, I did heard that Daredevil, the identity, is is a lawyer here I am a big Daredevil fan and I would love to see him get the big screen treatment also I would like to see Charlie Cox return and also also there are rumors that the Defenders might be rebooted or get the big screen treatment even though they're, they're still Netflix characters in the Marvel Netflix universe but I think they should might reboot them even though I do think they're just part of the MCU I think I don't know. It, it kind of gets confusing for, for the Defenders and the MCU. It's, it's really kind of confusing. Now, now next up, I do think, think we are going to get hit information about the Disney Plus TV shows. We have five of them. We have a What If series. And we have, have WandaVision, Loki, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Which Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the one that I am most excited about. Even though it doesn't come out until August of next year, which I'm pretty much protesting about that. And and it does seem like a very exciting series, and I am a fan of those two characters. One division, so rather it's going to be a prequel 
TV show or a TV show where Wanda tries to bring Vision back to life. And Loki is pretty much a good one. They're, it, well, a good idea, I bet. That's, I have no who thoughts about Loki. And there was rumor to be a Hawkeye TV show where Hawkeye passes his job to Kate Bishop. Which I do think that could happen. I would prefer a Hawkeye film, like a Hawkeye Origins film. That's what I prefer than a Hawkeye TV show. And I do think, who think we're possibly going to get Thor 4 announced. Thor 4 does kind of seem pretty likely. Now, now whether Thor 4 is going to be a prequel or a sequel. Well, however, Thor is just retiring for a bit, joining the Guardians of the Galaxy. Which I do think is going to play a big role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And... And Thor 4, I think, could might be a prequel because, because, was like, we can get information on how New Asgard was born. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do you think there's going to be a Thor 4? Because Thor Ragnarok was such a big hit. I liked Thor Ragnarok, and Chris Hemsworth said that he was on board for more films in the MCU. Ooh, and there are many people speculating that we are going to get a Thor 4, which I do agree with you with. Next up, I do think we're probably going to get information on Ant-Man 3. Now, even though Ant-Man and the Wasp was a flippity-flop film, Ant-Man and the Wasp was good in my opinion, I do think we could still get Ant-Man 3. Maybe it could be a Wasp standalone film, or maybe it could be a team-up film with Scott, Hope, and Cassie, since Cassie becomes a giant and joins the Young Avengers in the comics. And speaking of the Young Avengers, I do think we could get a Young Avengers film. I do think we're going to get Avengers 5, but maybe not in this phase. Maybe maybe in phase 5. Maybe, maybe. Sorry for saying maybe again. Maybe at the end of phase, phase 4. Now, what do you think that Avengers 5 could be about? Spoilers for Far From Home. The end credits scene showed that at Nick Fury and Agent, I forgot her name, were actually the scrolls from Captain Marvel in disguise. Now, I don't remember their names, but I was pretty shocked to hear about that. So maybe we could get a Secret Evasion film. And now, next up, we're going on the ones that I am most excited about. The Fantastic Four and the X-Men. I am a fan of both of those oh, superhero teams. Fan Four Stick has had some bad movies, including that one from 2015 that I do not want to talk about. And and X Men, I am a big fan of the X Men. Casting for Wolverine Ian has been leaked. I don't remember the guy's name, but I'm not gonna leave a link in the description below because I'm bad at how to setting leaks up. But however. However, I know this is going to sound stupid, and I'm probably not going to get the job, but I'm thinking of maybe acting in the MCU somewhere. I, I know, I know, I know. You guys are like, oh, come on, you're joking. Well, I'm actually thinking of kind of being an actor. Actor, but it just depends. depends. I mean, like, I want to make a living. Living more than just making YouTube videos, which I haven't acquired to make money off of YouTube videos yet. And final... Finally, I, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, brain fart. Now, the X-Men and Spider-Man, I do think that they're going to have a lot of sequels. Well, not a lot, like 9 or 12 sequels like the X-Men did. I don't think we're going to get any Deadpool MCU films. I do think Deadpool is coming to the MCU in the Thunderbolts film, which we'll get into the Thunderbolts in a second, and that was just what I was about to talk about. But... But I do think there's going to be a Deadpool 3 before or Deadpool and the X-Men are brought into the MCU. And and the X-Men isn't coming to the MCU in the next, like, possibly in the next six years because of the bombing of X-Men Dark Phoenix, which is Fox's lowest budget film. So what do you guys think Inc. is worse? Fan 4 stick from... 2015, or 
Dark Phoenix. I would choose Fan Four Stick. That film was bad. And and what I mean by Spider Man having a lot of sequels, because Spider Man, I mean like Marvel Studios and Sony are at war right now. Oh, Sony said that they want Spider Man back if. Far From Home doesn't hit a billion at the box office, so you might want to start buying more, more tickets. And... And now... And I do think we're going to get a lot of Spider-Man sequels setting up for the Sinister Six. And I do think that Spider-Man is going to be in more MCU films. And Sony, I heard, is in talks of being acquired by Apple. And I did hear that Apple owns Disney, maybe? I heard a long time ago in, in this podcast called The Opinionated Podcast, which had GameCube Dune in it and Tripolar. I I heard that Disney was in talks of being acquired by Apple, and I think they already did hit, and I don't think that's important. Well, I did heard that Sony is probably in talks of being acquired by Apple, and I do not know why they're saying Oh, if Sony gets acquired by Apple, then we could get Spider-Man in the MCU. Which, if you guys know a lot about the Disney, Apple, Sony thing, leave it in the comments below. And X-Men, the reason why I think we're going to get a lot of films, because there's just a lot of good storylines. Right, so they could just reboot boot a lot of X-Men films, like X-Men First Class, like but instead of having Havoc and... And other forgettable characters. Like, they can have the first class movie be a prequel, like, with the original lineup of, of, of the X-Men in the comics, which was Cy Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, Angel, and Iceman. And they can and they could probably and they could possi and we could possibly get a Dark Phoenix film that won't suck. And and yeah, that's why I think that those two franchises could get a lot of sequels. Now, finally, I'm going to be talking about the Thunderbolts. Now, the Thunderbolts is kind of interesting. Now, if you don't know who the Thunderbolts are, they're a group of anti-heroes, just like, like Suicide Squad. And, and the Thunderbolts also have Hulk, Ghost Rider, Red Hulk, I met. The Thunderbolts have Red Hulk, Venom, Ghost Rider, Deadpool, Zemo... Oh, and I heard that Ghost might appear in the film um, as well. Now, I did heard that James Gunn has pitched the Thunderbolts, which I do think that James Gunn could direct the Thunderbolts. And finally, I want to talk about the possible Iron Man 4. There has been rumors for a very long time of an Iron Man 4, which that probably isn't going to happen since Tony Stark is dead. And I do not think we're going to get Ironheart in the MCU for a very, very, very long time. I do think that Spider-Man is going to be the next Iron Man. And if if Disney acquires Spider-Man, which I would not accept that they, they acquired Sony. But how... And Venom... Venom kind of is having some ups and downs. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry, I just got from Iron Man to Venom. I don't have scripts for these videos. I just talk to these from my mind. Right. So first, I want to talk about Venom before or I go back to Iron Man. And Venom was the biggest profit Spider-Man film from Sony. Honey, which is what I heard. I do think we could get Venom in the MCU since we already have Flash Gordon in the MCU. Who, I do think it's possible if, if Apple acquires Sony or Marvel Studios by, by Spider-Man and stuff like that. So yeah. Now, and now fine, finally Iron Man 4. Now if there was an Iron Man 4, I think that it could possibly be a movie about how uh, it's like maybe maybe I'm a God, what was her name again? Pepper. 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 Maybe it's gonna be a movie about uh, Pepper Potts is Iron Man, or which, aka her costume is called Rescue, or maybe about uh, Morgan becoming an Iron Man, even though she's too small and I do not know if she has an important role in the comics. So yeah, so what are your ideas or thoughts of what could happen in Phase 4 of the MCU? 
and bye.